back to our channel. Today's session I am going to discuss about how to draw the PMOS logic circuit for given Boolean expressions. So previous videos we discussed the basic logic gate and also universal gate design using PMOS logic. So if you are watching first time in my video kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos. Now we move on the session. So before drawing the PMOS logic first I write the rule. So plus operator present in the Boolean expression the PMOS transistor connecting series. Suppose dot operator present in the Boolean expression the PMOS transistors connecting parallel. So these two rules we are going to follow to draw the PMOS logic. So now I write the truth table for the Boolean expression for verifying the result with PMOS logic. So in this Boolean expression so three variable a, B, C and final output equation is A plus B dot C A plus B dot C bar So totally I will make 5 columns So first 3 columns I give up input variables so input values and next column and next column These 2 columns are representing the output for uh, avoiding the confusions I make the 2 columns So these three variables are creating eight combinations of input. So four, five, then six, seven. So totally eight combinations of input. So this input values is applied in the equation. We can find the result. So zero plus zero, zero, zero into zero, zero. Zero plus zero, zero into one, zero. 0 plus 1, 1, 1 into 0, 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 into 0, 0, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 into 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 1 into 0, 0, 1 plus 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1. So now taking 1's complement, we can get the final result. So 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So now I am going to draw the PMOS logic for given Boolean expressions. PMOS logic. First I draw the two lines. So one line represent VDD, another line represent VSS. So between these two lines as we fix the transistor. So first I take this equation in the Boolean expression A plus B. So here operator is plus, plus in the sense PMOS transistor connected series. So in this sum term we have two variables. So each variable consists of one transistor. So each variable consists of one transistor. So this transistor name is T1 this transistor name is T2 so input of T1 is A input of T2 is B so here operator is plus so plus in the sense PMOS transistor is connecting series so these two transistors are connecting series then I go to the next operator so here next operator is dot operator this dot operator represents PMOS transistor connecting parallel So in this dot operation we have only one operator, only one variable. So that name we call as C, the transistor name is P3. So these two transistors are connecting parallel because in the Boolean expressions we have an operator dot. So this dot represent both the transistors networks are connecting parallel. So then this whole network is connected to VDD. So this one is a pull down resistor. You can get the output between this pull down resistor and this pull up network. So here output variable is A plus B dot C whole bar. So this is the simple structure for 
the given Boolean expressions. Now I am going to verify the result with this truth table. So let me take uh, one input value. So this input value a value 0, b value 1, c value 0. This input is applied to these three transistors. Now we verify the response of this transistor. So T1 transistor input is 0. So this transistor is turn on. T2 transistor input value is 1. So this transistor is turn off. T3 transistor input is 0. So this transistor is turn on. So in this case, the two transistors are turned on, T1 and T3, T2 transistor is goes to high input state. So here VDD is connect to output through T3 transistors. Now the Boolean expression output is 1. So this logic circuit output is 1. The truth table output also 1. Both the values are similar. So here T1 transistor is turned on, T2 transistor goes to high impedance state. So we will check uh, one more input value. So A value 1, B value 0, C value 1. So in this case, T1 transistor turn off, T3 turn off, T2 alone turn off. So in this case, there is no possible way to transfer the VDD to output. So, the output of the Boolean expression is 0. So, likewise, you verify the truth table input value to assign the transistor, you can find the result. So, I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.